Big Democrat cities are in crisis. Chicago, New York, San Francisco, Los Angeles, Philadelphia, Washington, D.C. I think they've passed the tipping point. They're not going to make a comeback anytime soon. And that has profound consequences for everyone. Look at this. Teens run riot in Chicago. Mayor Brandon Johnson says, please don't call it a mob, call it a large gathering. Hard to see Chicago turning around. Look at the sidewalks of New York. Migrants sleeping under the stars, using the street as a toilet. More arrive every day. Locals don't like it. They're staying home. The city's at a breaking point. You've seen the mass exodus of businesses and people from San Francisco run out of town by crime, homelessness, fentanyl. Same in Los Angeles. And then there's D.C. Many of those huge federal buildings are only 25% full. Government workers prefer remote work. They don't want to come into the nation's capital. Think this through. We're just beginning to understand the financial impact. These cities are drowning. Income tax revenue, down. Sales tax, down. Corporate tax, down. Crime costs, up. Welfare costs, up. The cost of taking care of migrants, astronomical. Who pays the debt? There will be a demand for a city bailout from the feds. After all, these cities are run by Democrats, and there's a Democrat in the White House, and there's an election coming. But a bailout would not be popular in the country as a whole. And if there's no bailout, cities either cut services or borrow at astronomical interest rates. We're at a tipping point. With these cities, it is a self-inflicted wound.